And hello guys, welcome back to another different series of video. My name is Jimmy Shreds and today we're doing the Tombstone Assault Rifle build, which is the weapon with the highest DPS in the game. So let's get it. As always guys, we're gonna go first through the skills and gear. So we have Sprinter 5 by Sprinter. I was always a Sprinter, I prefer Sprint. Sprinter is 1.5 times faster than Jogger. It's completely up to you, do you wanna go Jogger or Sprint? Completely optional. I just prefer Sprint and I, I just like to be fast, very simple. Uh, as I said, you can combine both of them if you want. And I believe for one day in the future, they're both going to be combined in any type of the builds. We're going to have a sprinter and jog in the future, in all kinds of builds. Just what I think in the future. Assault Rifle Expert, because we're using rifles. Headhunter for the headshot damage, which is a must. That's also a must. Quick Shot Fire for that attack hit, which is a must. Marksman for that maximum accuracy. And aim speed, which is a must, and the range as well. Uh, reloading 5 for walk speed, reload speed, and ammo capacity, which is a must. Hunter 5 for damage versus mutated, which is damage against the bosses, which is must. Hunter 5, completely optional. 50% surge speed, that's all we care about, because it saves us 1 second between each uh, loot spot that we're looting. So when you're bossing, you'll save 1 uh, second between... So when you have 2 loot spots to loot, once you kill the boss, you save 2 seconds. Very simple. This is optional. Toughness 5, uh, I highly advise you to have it, 75% HP is a big help, because there are the days we might not play perfectly, we might make mistakes, so we survive if we do mistakes. Uh, quick reflexes, so I do say uh, Toughness 5 is a must. Quick reflexes is also, I do say, a must, 63% dodge cooldown and 75% incoming, incoming stun recovery. That dodge cooldown will uh, help us a lot, especially if we do mistake, we just dodge, we cannot get damaged during the dodge animation quite useful and that plus 75 incoming stun recovery will help us to get a uh, faster uh, out of getting staggered so highly advise you to have it definitely armor 5 that's optional if you're using armors so the thing is with the armors uh it's uh they're really really good uh because you know they have that armor absorption durability so it's like when you wear armor think of it like you don't have to use meds, you'll have to use less meds, but I have to repair armor. So think of it, you have to carry less items. But for a regular boss hunting, you can do just fine with a leather jacket. So maybe you really don't need armor 5. So this is optional, completely up to you. Uh, I like to use armors, just me, so that's how I'm doing this build. And for the hard 5, uh, completely optional, but I advise you to have it due to spine the enemies because they have those bones covering their heads and such, so sometimes you'll have to go for the legs, lower body, which is a body uh, damage, so that helps. So it's it's optional, but I advise you to have it. It's not a must. Now we're going to go through the gear and weapon first. I'm going to show you Tombstone. Uh, so as you can see, that's our Tombstone. It has quite high headshot damage, as you can see. Uh, so the percentages you can get maximum on Tombstone is uh, 75 uh, 77 uh, headshot, 45 attack speed, 63 body damage, 68 maximum accuracy, and 45 mutated. Uh, the next thing we're going to talk about is Reaper Sight. That's the statistic I'm using. As you can see, 75 mutated, 21 incoming damage, 10 movement speed, uh, 11 damage versus infect, and 41 find uh, unique item chance. I like to switch between Gore Tumor and uh, Reaper Sight. Depends where and what I'm doing. So for regular bossing, I go with the Reaper Sight. If I'm doing like bosses inside of a commerce or the new building that we got in Ravenwall, uh, I do go for Gore Tumor because that mutated and higher incoming damage and HP and walk speed and movement speed are really helpful. And I that 12 mutated is, I mean, it's good, but on the enemies that are tougher and uh, where we we might get damage, I'd rather go for something like this because Gore Tumor is the best overall statistic when it comes to to the overall stats while sight is the best statistic when it comes to damage because it has 75 mutated no other statistic in the game has higher mutated so this is how i play it when i do regular boss hunting reaper sight when i do something really serious like commerce and something like that gore streamer so if you're following that I advise you to do it like that now the things we're going to talk about next is a fright mask as you can see this is our fright mask uh so what you can do in terms of uh you can either go for Fright Mask for your headpiece or uh, Hangman's Mask. The maximum percentage you can get on Hangman's Mask that you can craft during this event or loot it, same with the Tombstone, uh, is 
It's uh, 55 uh, mutated, 7% uh, mute uh, movement speed, 50% uh, attack speed, 45 find unique, 55 body damage, and 55 headshot. As you can see, mine is quite off, but I'll try to grab a better one. But, so when it, when it comes to this, like, what do you use? Fright Mask or headman, uh, Hangman's Mask? So if your character already has uh, 200, like 10, 15 HP, you can go for Fright Mask if you want. But still, still, even if it has a uh, lower, I do go for Hangman's Mask. Why? Because that movement speed is quite helpful. 7% movement speed. Movement speed is a global stat, which is going to affect our sprint speed, jog speed, walk speed, sneak speed. So, you know, it's a, it's a big, big thing. But as I said, if you're doing quite many mistakes, you're getting hit quite often, Fright Mask might be a better thing uh, for you because you'll have more HP, so you'll not die. Uh, but yeah. Me personally, once I get a good Hangman's Mask, I'll be using Hangman's Mask. Uh, the next item, uh, Fatman's All-Purpose Mittens. Uh, the, oh yeah, I forgot to mention it. Uh, these gloves and any of these two helmets, right? Are the, in terms of gloves and helmet, are the items with the highest DPS uh, that you can achieve. So it's either a Hangman's Mask or a Fright Mask. No other items can have, uh, in terms of the helmet, higher DPS than those two items. When it comes to gloves, no other gloves have a higher DPS than Fatman's All Pur Purple Mittens. So have that in mind. So with because of the Tombstone, we can go. We don't have to worry about your our uh, ammo capacity, maximum accuracy, because this weapon is already very accurate and have 45 clip size. So we can one clip all the bosses, regular bosses, without any issue. You'll see how uh, once I show you how it's performing. So the gloves and the hat, you definitely want to use Fright Mask or Hangman's Mask, or you want to, uh, for the gloves, definitely Fatman All-Purpose Mittens. Because that surge speed and all these stats are very useful, and I just, as I said, I don't think you need uh, attack speed or maximum accuracy. If you really want, you can try to get uh, better gloves instead of this one, but uh, have in mind you won't be able to achieve the maximum DPS if you're not using Fatman's All-Purpose Mittens. Uh, the gloves you can go for is like headshot, mutated, attack speed, maximum accuracy, ammo capacity. Those are the stats, so you can be more accurate, more um, ammo in the clip or magazine. Not heavy mind, as I said. The weapon itself is already, already very accurate, so and we can one clip all the regular bosses without any issue. So up to you. Uh, next thing we're gonna talk about is armor. This is the armor we're currently using. Uh, as you can see, we have incoming damage, inventory, HP, and incoming stun recovery. This armor is a relic. You won't be able to have 45 armor absorption durability, as I have in this video. So have that in mind. Pardon me. So if you're going uh, for... The stats you want to focus on your armor is more something like this. This is SN armor, and as you can see, uh, these are the stats we have. So you want to have incoming stun threshold. Recovery, HP, incoming damage, and inventory. The more um, incoming stun threshold you have, the better. But it works with the HP. The more HP we have, the better. Also, incoming uh, damage. The higher, the better. Once you mix, uh, uh, once you mix out incoming damage, that incoming stun threshold will uh, be a big of a big of a part of uh, saving you. Like especially, you're not gonna get staggered by those zombies hitting you. You'll see, like. Small, uh, small uh, kids, you know, those child zombies and sighted enemies, you won't get staggered. So, incoming sun threshold is very important. Also, incoming sun recovery, because you'll recover faster. So, for the armor, you want to go something like this. Uh, if possible, get the assault vest, because that minus 10 movement speed, you know, is, um, is not good. But, 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 if you're using Hangman's Mask, which can have plus 7 movement speed... That minus 10 is literally gonna have no effect on you. So you're completely fine with going with the SN if you are using this mask. The next thing we have are elite joggers. As you can see, triple sprint stats, incoming damage, and inventory. What you want to your joggers is triple sprint stats, incoming damage, the uh, inventory. Uh, sorry, prioritize this. Triple sprint stats, incoming damage, HP, inventory. If you cannot get HP, try to get something like dodge cooldown or incoming sun threshold or incoming sun recovery, uh, baby jog speed. Those those will be like the perfect stats. Any of those. And for the feet, triple sprint stats, dodge cooldown, jog speed, and footsteps noise radius. Instead of footsteps noise radius, uh, I would prefer to have walk speed, but 
I do not have it, unfortunately, but something like, as I said, perfect would be instead of footsteps, noise radius, walk speed. And we're using this backpack, military day pack, so that's the current gear we're using. If I forgot to say anything, I'll say it after I show you the performance. I'll mention everything else, the conclusion, the final verdict and everything, all the other things after you see the performance. So enjoy the performance. And as you've seen, guys, the performance is insane. This assault rifle is just pure madness. No weapon can uh, reach the DPS this weapon can. So uh, the thing I want to talk about is the DPS I was able to achieve with this weapon was exactly 2.2k. I'm going to show you my stats and everything. Here are the full stats so you can see how I achieved it and everything. So... With the that's with the proper items, right, and everything, and using some uh, food buffs, and also I was using what I forgot to mention, I was using Hulk, uh, Hulk's worn out vest, so I was able to achieve the accuracy as you've seen uh, in the picture. So I have that in mind. Also, the maximum DPS you can achieve with uh, Tombstone with the proper gear is 2.4, sorry, 2460 is with the proper gear. If you use Forsake, an example, for the body piece, which I do not advise you to use it, but you can do it if you want, completely up to you, you can get over 2.6k DPS on the tombstone. So have that in mind. But with optional, proper build, that we can do everything close to 2.5k. So the thing also I want to talk about is, uh, I know the ammo is a big issue currently for most of you guys. I believe the price will drop. I don't see ammo going below 3k. I could be wrong. But I think the stack of 8 mil uh, rifle round will not go below 3k. So, yeah, it's it's. I highly doubt it because this weapon is just insane. Uh, when it comes to the attachment, 
Uh, I advise you to not use any. Currently, do not put any upgrades attachments on this weapon. Now, I'll tell you why. Well, we can kill any type of boss, regular boss, without any extra ammo that we need. And we are already insanely accurate, as you've seen in the picture. Like, the accuracy, maximum accuracy error is already low. Uh, anything below 1.2 is insane. Is oh, Sorry, already good. Anything below 1 is insane. So, you know... Thing is, if you're going for the Fright Mask and the Fat Man's All Purpose Mittens or Hangman's Mask, well, you cannot achieve the uh, below one uh, accuracy. Even if you if you put the Compact Scope on it, you won't be you won't be able to achieve below one. But we're close to 1.2 already without it, so I don't really think there is a need to put a compact scope on it or the brand new magazine if you really want you can go for a brand new magazine but as i said i just keep it i'll i would like to see what kind of new enemies we're gonna get added into the game and then i i will uh, like to put the attachment on it because i just don't see a purpose of adding any of these because this weapon is already like super accurate uh has more than enough ammo to one clip the bosses outside of commerce some bosses in commerce you can one clip some will not be able to even if you if you had that brand new magazine you still won't be able to one clip uh, majority of them in the commerce and such buildings so i don't see a point in adding that just the way i think so also what i wanted to say is there is a high chance that this weapon will be using a different ammo type there's a very high chance that that that's gonna happen i i could be wrong but have that uh, on mind and if you do not have it, this weapon currently, or this mask, I highly advise you to craft both of them if you can. Definitely give it give it a try, you know, uh, try to get them. Because, man, this, this weapon is insane. No weapon can comp compete to this. This weapon has the highest DPS out of all weapons in the game. And it's just insane. So, you know, final verdict, conclusion, is it still worth it? 100%. Get it yourself if you do not have it yet. Even after the nerfs, it used to be... It used to be 12 headshot and uh, 6 body damage. It's now 11.1 and 5.55 body damage. So 11.1 headshot, 5.55 body. Which is still insane if you ask me. As you see in the performance, just the weapon is just insane. I'm going to leave down in the description my, um, my socials. Everything that you need, like Twitch, Discord, so which uh, where you can chat with the rest of the community while I'm offline. My Twitter, Instagram, if you want to follow, all the socials down below. And also, be in, in the comment if I forget anything, so, you know, so we cover everything, if in, just in case if I forgot something. So yeah, that'll be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoy it, and, you know, make sure you craft it. Okay, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video of the Frontier 2, guys. Till next time, peace.